Hey, CS10. We are going to be doing some coding now with our sprites. We're going to be building our first really, like, you know, not complicated, but they are still algorithms, our first algorithms. It's going to be really fun, and I hope you have a good time with it. We're going to start with just the motion tab, just moving stuff around, just making that scratch cat or Shrek cat or whatever you have uh, move around the screen and uh, see what the different blocks of code are and how we can put a script together. So first off, here's a uh, Scratch, uh, oh sorry, Shrek Cat. <laughs> I, I'm regretting already <laughs> making this. Uh, we're gonna make it move around the screen. A couple ways to do it. One of my favorite ways is Glide. Glide is really slick. Check out Glide. It looks pretty good. We got two Glides actually, we got Glide here. Uh, it moves a certain. It takes a certain amount of time, measured in seconds, to go either to a random position. It could go to the mouse pointer, or you could get it to go to a specific set of coordinates. So what I'd like to do is make this the cat glide around the screen. So maybe I could type in say zero zero, and then I'll put a you know a, some kind of a event on the end of this. Oops. Let's put the green flag. So when I press the green flag, the Shrek cat will glide to zero, zero. So let's see what happens. Oh, and it'll take one second to do it. Zooms right to the center. If I had the cat start over here, and I press the green flag, it would go always to the center. No matter where it starts, even if it starts in the center, it'll take one second to glide to the center. If I you know, start just like right over here, it'll like take a second. So it looks like it's moving slower. The further away it goes, or it has to travel, the faster it'll look like it's moving because it's always going to take one second. I can, of course, change that time. If I zoom in, like you can put in any number here. I can make it take three seconds or 0 0.5 seconds, you know, half a second. Uh, so that's great. Now, if you wanted to make a pattern of movement, I would suggest that you uh, move the cat and then drag in the block. So, for example, let's say I want to glide to the center and then I want to move to, say, this corner, and then this corner, and then this corner, and then this corner, and then back to the center. So here's how I would do it. I'd have the motion tab open, and then I would click and drag my cat to this corner. And I would drag out the glide block. And notice that it's loaded in those coordinates for me. Then I would drag it down here. And check it out. When I drag it out, you can see the new coordinates are already there. See these coordinates are the cat's current coordinates. So it kind of does some of that work for you. I'll put the cat over on this side now and drag it out. And it's not super hard to make like this, you know, pattern. And go drag it out. And oops, got to make sure they connect. And then back to the beginning again. Now, you might go and be like, well, you know, that wasn't very perfect. You can go and edit these numbers if you want to make them like, you know, oh, I really want it zero, zero. You know, you can adjust these numbers and it'll be fine. Okay, so let's uh, begin the script. Notice that it will start by going to zero, zero. So basically it'll go nowhere for a second. And then it will go at taking one second, gliding to each uh, part of the screen. So one second can't do nothing. Then it'll take one second to go to each point that I plotted out. And there you go, it comes back to the center again. So that's a pretty nice uh, way to do it. Now, what you might want to do, because that glide is kind of boring, like I was like, oh, one second just to glide. I do want it to start from the center. Like if I have it like over here, I don't want it to start over here. Like I want it to like start gliding from the center. But I'd like it just to be like, bam, like just go, just teleport. Poof, bam, you know, straight over to this position. So instead of glide, you can use go to. So go to, you know, just like glide, you can do random position or mouse pointer, but you can also teleport to a specific coordinate. So instead of gliding, I can just bamf over there. So wherever it starts, doesn't matter where it is, go to just makes it jump there and, and start moving around. So go to and glide are kind of similar in that they use coordinates, but glide sort of animates your movement from one point to another over a period of time and go to is just bam you're just like right there instant teleport both are useful for different reasons oftentimes our scripts will begin with a go to because we want to set the the starting position 
of a scene, and the character should always start in this particular place. So, or it doesn't have to be a character, it could be any number of things, but it needs to have a, a specific place to start. So we often use a go-to to begin there. There's other things that we can use as well. Uh, there's turn. And turn, you might notice, if I put out a turn, let's, uh, let's trash this. If you put out a turn, it's instantaneous. So let's put a green flag uh, trigger. It says 15 degrees. It's not like a glide, though. It just, like, jumps 15 degrees. Oh, actually, I have my sprite direction turned off. So it won't... It is actually rotating. But let's get it. I can't quite... I'll just type in... Uh, sorry. <laughs> let's type in 90. And I'm going to set the rotation to be all around. Otherwise, this won't do anything. So now, if I press green flag, you'll see that I, like, instantly turn, like, 15 degrees. And I can, like... You know, click so many times and get it back around. Oops, I'll go negative 15 degrees. Uh, oh my gosh, too much, too much clicking. There we go, back to back to 90, uh, back to zero, I guess it should be. Or no, I guess it's facing out this way, isn't it? So that, that's 90. So uh, you can also make it looped. So you can use something from the control, uh, like the repeat block. Repeat says do this a certain number of times, right? So maybe I could turn 10 degrees and do it 36 times. That means it will turn 10 degrees 36 times or repeat whatever's inside of the mouth of the repeat block. So you can see that now it looks like it's kind of animating, going around. And you can make it spin faster. Like if I spin a larger amount, like if I turn by 36 degrees and do it 10 times, then it will look like it's spinning faster. Like, boom, it's like really fast now. Uh, the more you turn each time, the faster it'll look like it's moving. So that's the, that's that. Move is another cool block. Move basically moves in the direction you're facing. So let's, um, let's move right now. I'm going to put it, this in a repeat. If I move 10 steps 10 times, then it'll basically be teleporting 10 steps in, in its direction. But it'll do it 10 times, so it'll take a bit of time. So we'll see it, you know, move across the screen. So it moved 10 steps in its direction. If I change this direction, let's say I, you know, turn it this way, then when I press green flag, the same script will make it move along that line. And I can make it go this way. And you can kind of combine these things together. In the first video, I put these things together and made it kind of, you know, move in curves and things like that. So it can, can be kind of fun. You just got to make sure it all adds up to the right number of angles and things, and otherwise you can get into some weird uh, positions. Now, my character will move sort of up and down. Uh, if I put a negative amount of steps, it'll move backwards. So that's move. Move moves in the direction you're facing, and you can combine it with turns for some fun stuff. So we got move, turn, go to, glide. Uh, point in direction lets us, instead of like moving this like circle thing around, we can just tell in the code, like, hey, Sprite, face this way. And we could just tell it to you know point at that exact angle. We can also make it point towards something. Uh, and we can also change the X and Y coordinates directly. Either we can change X or set X. Uh, this is like the go-to. A set X and set Y is basically a go-to. But sometimes you only want to set X or only want to set Y. So then you can use those uh, separately. And there's some other fun stuff you can do here. You can, if on edge bounce, we'll take a look at later. Uh, set rotation style left right is basically what we were doing over here with these buttons but you can do it in code so you could change it in the middle of a program and there you go that's the motion tab we're going to explore more uh, things than that but at the end of this video uh, you're going to have a small task to do I would like you to program an algorithm that will make your sprite travel around the screen I would like you to travel in a square it will start you know in here and it will, like, wherever it is in the screen, it will always, wherever it ended up, it will go here. It will then travel from this corner to this corner to this corner to the center and then spin 360 degrees, like, in a nice kind of animated spin. So, you know, always start here and then go across in a backward C, teleport, uh, sorry, just glide to the center and then spin around, whichever direction you want, 360. Okay, so give that a try, and when you have that done, 
call me over, show me the results, and I'll check you off for having done this video. Okay, thanks so much, CS10. I hope you're having fun with this. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.